Hey, I'm Ashley Gass, Certified Strength and Conditioning Specialist with BrilliantAthlete.com. So just what is the salary of a personal trainer? Well, for those of you that are looking at getting into the industry, you'll be happy to know that it's totally up to you. There's two different avenues you're going to want to look at. If you're just starting out, you might want to start in a commercial facility as a trainer there. 24 Hour Fitness is a great example of a very big corporation within the United States. What members do is they'll buy personal training packages and then you, the trainer, will get assigned these clients. Now, the advantages to this include that you're going to be starting off building experience with a membership base that already exists. Some of the disadvantages include that you'll be giving most of your profits to the corporation and you're not able to charge what you're worth. Now, if you're a more experienced trainer and you've got a good reputation and client base built, you're going to want to consider going into business for yourself, starting your own corporation. The advantages of this include you charge, you get to charge and get what you're worth. You also get to keep the majority of your profits. There's an excellent book out there I'd recommend that you take a look at called Value Based Fees, How to Charge and Get What You're Worth. Now, one other thing to consider in the training industry is to align yourself with a top quality nutritional company. Why? Because it gives you the opportunity to educate your clients about products that will greatly help their training and recovery process. It will also allow you to add another income stream to your services. I'm Ashley Gass with Brilliant Athlete. Dot com. Feel free to contact me if you've got questions about salary of a personal trainer and how to add income streams to your services.